Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame and score. Tyler Eifert, Manti Teo, and this, ladies and gentlemen, will be this year's Shamrock Series uniform for the game in October at Soldier Field in Chicago against Miami. And uh, I'll ask you both, what do you think? They're pretty sweet. You can also see the helmet. And yeah. let, let's show, let, we've got the gold on the one side and a, a little uh, extra touch this year. The leprechaun is on the other side. And, and Manti, your thoughts? Oh, I think it's really nice. I hope I can wear my visor. Ryan? Ryan Crooms is here, the equipment manager. You can follow him on Twitter, by the way. Uh, he's the number one tweeter of all equipment managers in the country. In fact, uh, Daryl Ravel, the uh, ESPN business reporter, said everybody should follow you. So you've now become an icon. Ryan Crooms off camera there. But talk a little bit about, I mean, whenever Notre Dame changes stuff, there can be controversy. Some fans wonder, well, why do you want to do this? I think they're sweet. I think fans will buy them and want to wear them. But why, what does it do for you as players uh, to get to play in a different special uniform for a game? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot to wear our regular uniforms, and uh, we enjoy doing that. But to change it up every once in a while is, is pretty cool. And uh, uh, Adidas did a great job with these uniforms, and uh, they're awesome. And Ty, how about you? Yeah, I think the same thing. You know, our, our, our regular uniforms are cool, but I think it brings a lot of excitement to the team, you know, to know that there's one special uniform. And, you know, Troy Lee Designs really, and Adidas did a great job, you know, you know making these uniforms. So, you know, we're really excited. We talk about excitement for the team. I mean, uh, it's work playing this football schedule. You guys can't take a week off because every week you are challenged. Does it help? I mean, you, your, your veterans, you guys can dig down deep and find it. But does it make it a little easier to find that, that extra energy? You know, this is going to be at the beginning of the middle of the season that just gives you a jump. Can, can the jump from this help you on the field? Um, I don't know. I mean, the, I don't know if the uniforms or the, the fabric make you but play better. Feel, but just but the yeah. way you feel it. But, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it adds energy and, and excitement to the program. So um, I don't think it's fake energy or anything like that. I, I mean, it's real, and the guys enjoy it. So the guys, when you go out and see their fellow students, and when they see you in these things, what do you think they're going to say? Oh, I don't really know. Um, I mean, personally, you know, it, there's a saying, you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good. So, I mean, when we have something new, you know, it, like I said, it brings a lot of excitement and energy, and, you know, we, and we're excited, and we're, we're very humbled to be able to wear this stuff. So let's focus on the season. And uh, Coach Diaco is out here. Coach Kelly was out here. Going to talk with both of you. Talking a lot about how you have changed as a player on and off the field this year and, and as a leader. Can you talk about that a little bit? I just learned, you know, I, don't, I can just be myself. You know, I'm one to just lead by example and, you know, talk when I need to speak. Um, and I, I tended to step out of my shell and try to step out of my comfort zone and be more vocal. But, you know, that wasn't me. My, my, player, my, my teammates could, could see right through it. And uh, they noticed that, you know, when, you know, Manti spoke, you know, I wanted to notice that, you know, it was very important. And so, you know, I don't really say much. And, you know, same with Ife, you know, he doesn't need to say much because of his play. And, you know, we just, we, we lead by example and we, sp we, we speak when we need to speak. What does that say about this team that they look to both of you right now as leaders and you don't necessarily have to be, demonstrative people watching a game may not see you leading on the sideline throwing your hands up in the air your head bobbing but the players know that you're leading what does it say about the the makeup of this team yeah i mean i think we've all we've all been young at times and uh now we're we're the experienced guys so i think at any time that we could help help lead or help give advice to some of the other guys is um is helpful for the team as you look at this training camp and what faces you and as this team is coming together your thoughts on the offense uh, the offense is making great strides. Um, we've gotten better since day one. Uh, we've worked hard, and um, if we continue to get better and, and focus on what we need to do, uh, we'll be fine. How about the defense, man? Uh, you know, like, just like the offense, we're getting better every day. You know, we're, we're better than we were at day one. And, you know, we're a lot stronger, a lot faster, and guys understand the, you know, the scheme a lot more. And, you know, the veterans are helping the little guys out. And so, you know, when you have that combination, you know, that usually you know, that's that makes a pretty good unit. So, you know, we're just working every day to get better, and, you know, we're looking good so far. You guys both had a choice most players don't have. You could come back for your last year of college, or you could have gone on to the next level. You both chose to come back. You had in your head have to have an idea of how you wanted the whole season to go, and there's still a lot to go. But as this training camp goes through, is it going the way you had hoped it would go both for you and your team? Yeah, it really is. Um, we came in with a lot of energy on day one, and we've continued that all the way through. And for me personally, it's just been – uh, I've tried to enjoy it. Um, sometimes hard to do with the grind of camp, but uh, 
just try to enjoy it and uh, make the most of it. Same question, the relationships for you, the way the defense is coming together, the way the team is coming together, is this is what you were hoping for when you decided to come back? I think it's more than what I expected. You know, I didn't, you know, coming back, um, you know, our team is a lot, you know, it's a close in the group. You know, we're a lot closer than we were before. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited and you know, I, I'm just excited to get out there with my guys and you know, just, just get this thing started. So, you know, it's, it's more than I expected. All right, guys, give me 10 more seconds standing there, folks, uh, watching uh, around the country. Here is your first look at this year's Shamrock Series Notre Dame uniform. Game will be played in October against Miami at Soldier Field. Uh, and uh, these two guys are also, as you can see, yes, the leprechaun's right here on the pants. See the leprechaun on the gloves, leprechaun on the helmet. And uh, Tyler and Manti, coming to Notre Dame, they get an opportunity to do lots of things, and now they get to be models because they're going to go downstairs now and show the rest of the world what these uniforms are like guys thank you good job thank, thank you very very much thank you, thank you man ty oh!